This is a DMV renewal notice here in California. And if you don't have all your monitors, including your EGR monitor, you will not be able to get your new tag for that year. And if you keep driving around, you're gonna eventually get pulled over and getting harassed all the time. So in order to get yourself a new tag like this, you're gonna have to get the EGR monitor ready. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. I'm going to have a video at the very end that actually shows me doing this complete drive cycle. So if you guys want to reference that, check that out. It will be on the top right hand corner of the screen at the end here. And let me go over some of the tips and things that can really make this a lot easier for anybody trying to get their EGR monitor ready. To use any of the techniques that I'm going to be covering in the video here, you want to make sure you get yourself one of these OBD2 scanners. And they're under $20. They're really great to have. They work on any vehicle 1996 and newer. So it works on Toyotas, Mercedes, Audis, anything you could imagine. This will work on. And the best part about this is you're going to be able to troubleshoot some of your own problems going forward. Without having to make an appointment. And it only takes a few seconds. So check out the links below in the video description on getting yourself a good scan tool like this. And if your EGR monitor is not ready, so you can go and get an inspection done on your vehicle for an emission or smog, we definitely want to stay tuned. One thing when you're trying to get the EGR ready, you want to make sure that there's no pending codes. If there's any pending codes in the system, it may keep some of the monitors from setting. And you definitely want to be uh, knowledgeable about that, so check the scan tool and you can see I have no codes and there's no pending codes if it did have a pending code it would have a P and then the, whatever the code is so make sure there's nothing pending what you want to do is you want to go over 65 miles an hour as you're driving on the freeway once your car is warmed up and you want to decrease speed to under 20 miles an hour preferably down to zero if possible and you want to do this one or two times and what I do is when I'm driving I actually leave the scanner plugged in so I can recheck it. If it doesn't work the first time you may have to complete this process two or three times for it to happen. Most of the times I'm able to get in the very first try. There's a couple of things that will basically terminate the EGR test and, the, and one of them is going to be touching the brake. But if you have a manual transmission you could definitely downshift and you could also coast into neutral if you have an automatic transmission like mine you could definitely use a shifter here to slow you down that's what I do most of the time when I'm doing this and I've had instances where I've had to actually use the parking brake to slow myself down it is very dangerous unless you're really in an open area I don't recommend doing it but I've had to use that before and it does work but do not touch the brake and make sure your scanner is hooked up so you could test what's actually going on and once that uh, EGR is completed you know you're done you can unplug the OBD2 scanner here from the port and that one other thing too is if you have a vehicle and you've put on 1800 miles and you've tried to give this a couple of goes and it's still not getting ready well your vehicle might have an actual inherent issue that the state emissions office knows about it. and this happens sometimes sometimes I get emails from people that have driven their vehicle 1800 miles and the EGR is still not set this is a pretty easy thing to get ready and some vehicles actually have an inherent EGR issue and on some of the older vehicles we used to be able to clean them and you may have to replace your EGR uh, valve if you can not get this test ready but most of the times in my own experience unless you had a vehicle like older Honda uh, with uh, 200,000 miles on it I've never actually had to do this myself but I have seen plenty of people clean the EGR valves but I hope the video helped you guys out make sure you guys check out the videos at the end of the uh, end of here and the whole uh, emissions tips uh, playlist just so you can get a better sense 
of how to do some of these emissions tests. And I know this is not fun, but if you follow my guidance on here, and, and number one thing, do not touch the brake. You will get through this. So go over 65 miles an hour. Slow down to at least 20 miles an hour. Preferably, if you can stop, it's even better. And you may have to do it two or three times, but this will get done. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and it did help you out. Please leave your comments and your questions below. And if you guys haven't done so already, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell as well. So anytime I post a video that's aimed at saving you time and money, you guys will get notified. Have a great day and thanks for watching. You know, if you guys have any comments, hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support.